Hi, Jenna Knight here. I'm an acupuncturist in Port Moody, BC, Canada, and I'm the owner and operator of Zenflower Acupuncture. I just wanted to share a thought with you today because um, yesterday when I was here, um, a little girl almost drowned. Um, so I just wanted to share the story and a thought and um, just kind of spread that out into the world to get people thinking. So yesterday when I was here, I came after my exercise, my bike, and I was just stopping for a couple minutes to cool down because it was a hot sunny day like it is today. And uh, there was like over a hundred people on this beach. I'll show you what this beach looks like along the Poco River. Which doesn't say much for social distancing and the coronavirus <laughs> and precautions. And anyways, a little girl came down the river yesterday on an inner tube. And the inner tube um, T-boned or hit a log that was protruding out into the river um, and flipped like out from underneath her and she got stuck um, halfway kind of like bobbing between being under the water and above the water and she was like choking on water and then I'll show you the log it's right there dead center so it doesn't look like much but there was a little girl clinging for her life partially drowning choking on water from that log and um, she let out like a crazy scream and not one person on this beach out of the more than 100 people got up to help her. I'm a mom, so when I hear a kid scream like that, it takes me a split second to do something. So out of, out of everyone here, I was the only one who went in the water to save her. And um, I got within about three feet of her and the water over there doesn't look like much. I'll show you again. was up to my neck and I couldn't go any further without the water being so strong it was knocking me like off my feet. So I attempted to save her but there was no way I was going to make it without hurting myself. Um, and at that point, that was like several minutes later, someone finally jumped in who was much taller and much stronger than me from the other side of the river and got her out. But it was like within seconds of like her possibly dying. So I just wanted to share a thought because that experience shook me a little. You know, everybody's always talking about integrity and what you do when people are not watching and, and how important integrity is. And sure, integrity is, is great. But in this situation, it was like no one had like honor. It was like no one was like honorable enough or no one was brave enough or had any courage or like any decency to try to save this kid. This was someone's daughter. This was on Mother's Day yesterday. Um, so I'm not saying that people should put themselves in danger, but I'm saying that out of all the people on the beach, there was definitely people who were better suited to go in the water before me and do something for that little girl. So that kind of hit me is it's not only important that you do the right thing that when, when no one's looking. It's also important to do the right thing when everyone's watching because you do set the example for people. And in this case, when I got out of the water and you know I, I did hurt myself a little bit getting out there because I got impaled by a branch or something under the water that I couldn't see, her parents didn't even thank me for trying. So, you know, I didn't need the recognition, but it was definitely warranted. So anyways, everybody, just a reminder, integrity, it's important. Honor, bravery, courage, it's important. Doing the right thing when people are watching as well, because you set the example. And, you know, this summer with the coronavirus and outdoor play, play safe, okay? Thanks, world. Take it easy.